Hi, I'm George, the Weather Dad, to take a look at your upcoming week and, of course, the important day on Thursday, and that's Halloween. First, let's talk temperatures. Here on your Monday, not too bad. Nice little warm-up there in the central U.S., still kind of cool. Uh, Ohio Valley points towards the northeast and certainly very chilly, wintry-like up into the Rockies. We're going to jump here now to your Wednesday. Here comes a cold front. You kind of see some colder air back in the high plains warming up nicely out and ahead of it. So we're going to be looking at temperatures potentially in the 80s right here in the Ohio Valley. It's going to get a little breezy too. You see these white streaks? Well, that's a southwesterly wind going to bring up some of that warmer air. It's also going to bring up quite a bit of moisture, which could cause some showers and potentially a few severe thunderstorms come Halloween in the Ohio Valley. Speaking of Halloween, temperature-wise, you can see the front nicely here. Some cool colors. In fact, below normal temperatures as you head up into the Great Lakes region and the high plains. Temperature is going to be about normal, but the really warm air for you down into the southeast, the Appalachians up towards the northeast, it's going to be a really nice Halloween for you. Could be a little breezy, but overall, temperature-wise, it's going to be pretty nice. Those of you out in the Rockies, well, you're going to have some very chilly air and also some snowy air as well. Here on Friday, the front works its way down into the southeast. Normal high temperatures are going to be in the lower 60s now for the Ohio Valley, closer to 60 degrees temperature lows in the low to mid 40s, and uh, it's going to be a little bit chilly here on our Friday. Jumping now to next Sunday, nice little warm-up again ahead of the next system. We're actually looking at what we call a zonal flow of air moving quickly from west to east, and so we're going to have some showers and thunderstorms oh, about every two to four days, depending on where you're at across the country. Precipitation-wise, here we go for your Monday. Pretty quiet across most of the country. Here's that system that's going to be racing across the country there on Monday. Those of you in the Pacific Northwest are going to be a little bit on the wet side. Here we are on Tuesday. There's going to be quite a bit of snow in the Rockies. The rest of us, pretty dry, uh, lots of sunshine, and again, warming temperatures. By Wednesday, here's that frontal system getting itself organized. And those southwesterly flow of air is going to bring in quite a bit of moisture ahead of this frontal system. It's going to give it some fuel to work with. Take a look at the next one, though, approaching the Pacific Northwest. Here we go on Halloween. This is midday. You see the showers and thunderstorms. Can't rule out the possibility of some severe weather along with this frontal system, but it's going to be moving quickly. Those of us right here in Cincinnati, we may get lucky. It may hit beforehand and then push its way out just in time for the trick-or-treaters, and let's certainly hope so. The rest of the country, though, pretty nice for Halloween. Uh, the Pacific Northwest, once again, you're getting hit pretty good there. Here on Friday, the frontal system washes out as it heads towards the southeast. Here comes the next system, and by Sunday, it could uh, produce, again, some more severe weather for the central U.S. as it races towards east. This is now for next Sunday. Now, a quick note on the tropics right now. The models continue to try to develop something in the southern portions of the Caribbean. Right now, it looks pretty much okay. I don't see anything developing over the next week or possibly the next week or two. Well, that's your look at the upcoming week. Halloween, we'll have another update there on your Tuesday. I'm George, the Weather Dad.